Sharper Point Commentary, presented by Schwartz Laser Eye Center. This morning, we brought you the results of a noble predictive insights poll that shows who would win Arizona's U.S. Senate race if the election were held today, an election that is being watched from coast to coast. But what one of the candidates in that race said this week and the reaction to it from the daughter of a late Arizona senator is being watched around the globe. While that's not what led pollster Mike Noble to say... Good luck to all of us in this election, because we're going to need it. I think it's 100% applicable. Mike's poll shows that Republican Carrie Lake should do something, anything, to get independent Senator Kirsten Sinema to enter the race because it increases Lake's chances of beating Democrat Ruben Gallego. In a head-to-head -head battle, Ruben Gallego beats Carrie Lake by 10 points, 47 to 37 percent, with 16 percent undecided. But with a three-way race that includes Sinema, Gallego is only three points ahead of Lake, and that's within this poll's margin of error. It's all because of independent voters who lean heavily towards Gallego and moderate Republicans, as Mike Noble explains. There's a chunk of moderate Republicans who would pick Gallego over Lake in a two-way matchup. Cinema over both of them in a three-way race and a bland, generic Republican over anyone if the GOP would nominate one. And even Kerry Lake supporters have to admit that she is not a bland, generic Republican, proven by how she's gone after moderate Republicans, the so-called McCain Republicans. We don't have any McCain Republicans in here, do we? All right, if you want, get the hell out. Even though Lake told the outspoken with Bruce and Gato show on KTAR that she was just kidding around when she said that. It was a joke that was said a year before the election when I was taking an incoming. A new Megan McCain, party. the late senator's daughter, tells Bruce St. James and Larry Gatos that she's not laughing. And Lake needs to remember, as she tries to make nice with moderate Republicans so that Lake doesn't lose her second election in a row of her fledgling and so far failing political career, Republicans have long memories. After all, their symbol is the elephant. People remember and people loved him very much and loved what he stood for. And I know that she thinks that I'm just going to come to her and somehow like want to make it okay. But if she is looking for absolution, she should go to her priest, not to me. Oh my. I guess if you were to poll one, well, only moderate Republicans and maybe only one moderate Republican happens to be known as Megan McCain. Carrie Lake would lose by about 100%. But, as we all know, polls are just a snapshot of the here and now. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that wouldn't change even by November. Thanks for watching Sharper Point. Click to see more from Arizona's morning news and tap the button in the middle to subscribe.